Yeah, let's get to your sport, football. And, you know, obviously a new start for you in Atlanta this year. How excited are you about kind of this fresh start, man? I'm excited. I mean, obviously being able to, to play football at, at Georgia in college and then to go back to a, to a city that, that already embraced me when I was in L.A., embraced me when I was in college, and it's probably going to embrace me even more for just being able to come play for the home team. It's, it's exciting for me. Um, it's, like you said, it's a fresh start for me. So um, playing with one of the best receivers in the game and Julio, um, MVP quarterback and Matt Ryan, I mean, the opportunity, you know, to be able to be on the field with those guys and, and a bunch of other guys that's great players as well. And I already kind of had a relationship with a, with a couple of guys on the team, so it's it's going to be fun. How how you feeling physically? Obviously, that's kind of been an issue over the last few years. How are you feeling? Like, like you feel like you're 100%? Yeah, I feel fine, man. I've been able to, you know, train this off season. you know, get my mind, get my body right, and... Just, just come prepared and ready for the season. You know, it's, it's about that time. As soon as training camp comes, you know, it's time to go. Hit the, hit the road running. And, you know, I'm, I'm ready for whatever they need me to do. So that's that's kind of how I'm taking this approach and going to go in with a, a great mindset, ready to help the team out and be able to do, do what I do best. And that's, you know, score some touchdowns. Two years ago, of course, I mean, you had a phenomenal year. Arguably, you know, could we're certainly in the MVP race. A lot of people thought you deserved the MVP. We know you had the knee injury. H- how tough was this last kind of year, you know, year, year and a half, whatever it's been for you, you know, obviously an elite running back, but f- to go through what you did over the last year and a half, how tough was that for you? Um, I don't feel like it was tough, man. I mean, I'm such a, a strong, grounded person that, you know, my mind is, is ready to take on whatever challenge it is mentally. And and I feel like as long as I keep that approach and, and keep working, stay consistent, you know, I know everything's going to work out for me. You know, I, I ended up getting cut and ended up getting signed with Atlanta, you know, a couple of days later. So, I mean, just, just keeping God in my corner, doing the right things, and then just working hard. And everything else is going to, you know, speak for itself. So, like I said, I'm excited for the fresh start, new opportunity, going back to Georgia. Um, I really wouldn't have it any other way. Did, did being cut, put? does that put a chip on your shoulder? Like, you know, obviously you, you, nobody likes that. I even hear guys say they get traded. Of course, they want to, you know, they want to prove to the other team they made a mistake. Yeah. How much of a chip on your shoulder, you know? Man. All I'm gonna say is, you know, it's, it's time to you go. You human, you it's, human. It's time to go. You know, I'm not. I yeah, I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not really. You know, the rah rah guy. I'm never too high. I'm never too low. I'm just right in between. But you know, come on game day, you know, I know what I'm capable of. I know the work I've been able to put in throughout the off season and on the field. And I know, you know, what type of teammate I am. And at the end of the day, it's only one ball, but. I know when I get the opportunity to, to do what I do best, um, I know I'm going to do it well, and, and that's just the way I have to take that approach. And, you know, some people forget sometimes, so you definitely got to let them know and, and let them remember. I feel you, because I, I, I'm just going to honestly, I got to ask you this, Ty, because I was wondering it all last year, because the Rams were saying, you're not uh-huh. hurt, you're fine. And I'm like, well, why isn't he getting the ball more? Why is it, you know what I mean? Like, so what was the deal? Was the knee bothering you? What was, you know, were you as baffled as the rest of us when you weren't getting the ball, or what was it? Man, all right, I would say this. There's only one football. I always say this. Obviously, if one person production go down, someone else has to go up. We had a healthy Cooper Cup who ended up tearing his ACL probably two years prior, so he was able to be on the field. Robert Woods, I mean, he kind of speaks for himself. Brandon Cooks, and we started getting the tight ends involved a lot more with, with Higby and, and Gerald Everett. And obviously everyone wants to see me get the ball, but right. I'm, I've never been that person. You know, I've always been a, a team a team first guy. Um, I, I'm never going to complain. You know, when the opportunity comes to me, I'm going to just sit back and be ready. And, and that's all I can do is control what I control. I was able to obviously play in. 15 out of the last 16 games last year, and 
And you know, football is you know injuries is is a hundred percent. So for me to be able to to play in fifteen out of sixteen games um, and, and have to still have whatever the amount of carries I had, um, you know, I feel like you know things that didn't go my way, but. It is what it is. It's life, you know. You just got to be able to learn how to control those things and 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 maintain them, and then also to be able to to regain focus, but then also not lose yourself, you know, lose your character, lose your personality, right. and not make it about you because football is the ultimate team sport. It's never going to be about one person because at the end of the day, there's going to be another Todd Gurley, and that's just going to happen for years and years to come. So you can't never get too you know, never too high on yourself because it's, it's the ultimate team game. You know, you can have 10 guys do the right thing, but it takes just one guy to up the play. So, well, you know, you, I just kind of just do what I do, um, be a good teammate, um, be a good pro, a professional, and, and just go to work and, and take care of my business when, when I have to. Well, you you a good brother, man. That's a good, nice answer, man. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you in yeah, Atlanta. I ain't it's, tripping, man. Right? I, I feel tripping. you. Everything, I feel everything you. gonna work out for the best. Well, good luck down there in Atlanta, man. I can't wait to see you uh, in the red and black, man. Have a great season. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Todd. Peace, man.